The pair made the announcement as Planned Parenthood California kicked off its Powered in Pink bus tour at the Unitarian Universalist Church of Fresno. CBS 47's Medeiros Babb joins us live in the studio with reaction to the bus stop. Medeiros. Catherine, the message from the organizers is that women have rights, and tonight the plan locally, if Roe versus Wade is overturned, and the pushback from a local pro-life organization. We've been preparing for this decision when it came out. Um, was I surprised? No. Was I disgusted and saddened and angered? Yes. Nearly two weeks after a leaked Supreme Court draft opinion, Planned Parenthood Marmonte CEO Stacy Cross stood in front of a neon pink bus painted with the words, say abortion. Everything that I've worked my whole life for is at risk with this Supreme Court because they're taking rights away and they're impacting democracy. The leaked draft opinion on Roe versus Wade strikes down the right to abortion on a federal level, leaving it up to the states to regulate. Governor Gavin Newsom and the Attorney General proposing California become a haven state. About a dozen bills headed to the state legislature would protect abortion rights, building new clinics, and providing funding to help women travel to the state to have an abortion. Our doors are going to continue to be open. Marmonte, which includes the Central Valley and Fresno, is the largest Planned Parenthood center in the nation. It oversees 30 centers and over 200,000 people each year in Central California and Nevada. If Roe versus Wade is struck down, Cross expects an extra 200 to 500 out of state. Patients a week. Fresno City Council President Nelson Esparza and Council Member Esmeralda Soria plan to advocate for land use applications for extra facilities to keep up with the demand. So it's really about uh, just kind of capacity and making sure we're, we're ready. Right to Life Central California CEO John Girardi believes the focus should be on prenatal care for mothers instead of funding for out of state abortions. You know, some states when they have a budget surplus, they give it back to the taxpayers. Here we fund everyone in the country to come here for abortion. Um, it's wildly out of touch. The bus tour will continue across the state and will end in Long Beach on the 25th of this month. Reporting live in studio, Medeiros Bab, CBS 47 Eyewitness News.